The mindset is just to keep competing. Um, yeah, we, obviously we're not talking about that, but um, these guys just have to learn how to be professional. A lot of uh, first year guys in, the, in their first full season and um, they're still giving good effort. You know, these guys are not backing down by any means. I wouldn't let that happen uh, in my own, but these guys just have to come out every day, keep competing, keep grinding and uh, get a uh, learning experience on what their first full season brings. And then uh, I know you guys have roster turnover throughout the season, but with a few more changes, Rudy getting called up, what, what are the difficulties, I guess, trying to put together a lineup uh, on a daily basis, knowing that you have, I guess, new guys uh, taking over positions on this team? Um, lineup is not hard to put together. Uh, we, we encourage promotions, obviously. Like, that's what we're here for. Uh, Rudy gets called up. Chris Baker fills in. Um, and then we make the lineup accordingly. Um, there's no like special potion or any special lineup that we put out there. Um, just put these guys in the best position to succeed and hopefully they do their job. Is the Burt bobblehead pretty realistic, do you think? Uh, he says the body looks like it did when he played, but the face kind of looks like what he does now. <laughs> so it's a kind of a good combination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't checked the stats recently, but you guys have been, as a pitching staff, near the bottom of the league and fewest walks um, allowed this year. Is that? kind of the, uh, the biggest mile marker that, that you and Burke can look at to say that you're having success and getting these young pitchers to do what you want them to do? Um, I think just watching them every single day. Uh, we don't really have to pay attention to the stats. We know that stuff. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a good just tribute to what he does and what he brings to this pitching staff. These guys are young and with live arms, and we just want them to pound the zone and get ahead of hitters. Um, and for the most part all year, they've been very consistent. I, I was actually thinking about that the other day about our pitching staff. and how much they've kept us in the ball game regardless of how many uh, runs we can score. So they give us an opportunity every single day and that's all we can ask. Obviously you are a position player and how much have you learned about pitching just working alongside Bert um, on this staff for, for this season? Um, you know, a lot of the, the fundamental stuff and uh, things I've never seen before. Um, I've learned more about pitch calling and how to set up hitters and everything like that. Um, Asking him what's a good pitch to throw in this situation and things like that helped me uh, when I'm talking to my catcher and communicating with him. So, yeah, I've, I've learned a lot in this first year, and hopefully I can learn more as I go, go ahead. And we enjoyed your in-game performance yesterday with Myron Noodleman. Was that kind of uh, off the cuff? Was that, did, were you planning to do that? or? Um, uh, I wasn't planning on it until <laughs> he came into my office before the game and said, you want to do a skit with me? And I've been around minor league baseball for a, quite a while now, and I've seen his acts like numerous times. and. Uh, me, as a, as myself, said, no, don't do it. But I just thought my kids and my wife and everybody else would get a kick out of it. So I said, why not? Just kind of lighten up the mood and, and give them a show. So. Yeah, was there some design behind it as far as just to show your team you still want them to have fun, still playing a game, and, and uh, been a tough series at Dayton, and just to show guys <coughs> to still enjoy these final couple weeks of the season? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, I, that popped in my head. I just said, hey, it's kind of the way things have been going lately. It's, it's kind of... Yeah fun for them to see me do that. Not, nobody was expecting me uh, to go out there and make a fool of myself, but uh, they got a good laugh at it and uh, kind of lightened up the mood, like I said, so it was good to see.